Hello. Here's a short introduction to what is considered a good diesel fuel. I show this presentation to uh, some of my students here at the University of Pittsburgh's Bradford campus in Western Pennsylvania, but perhaps there would be a more general audience out there that also would like to uh, know what is a good diesel fuel. We work on oxygenate additives uh, here at school in the chemistry department. Now, a very, very good introduction to what is considered a good diesel fuel would be found in the U.S. patent number 7,220289. It really offers, in my opinion, an excellent description of what is a good diesel fuel. It is generally accepted that the portion of crude oil boiling out within temperature range of 150 to 370 degrees Celsius is considered diesel fuel. In other words, it's that cut above gasoline distilling out of the crude oil. This upper range would be approximately, the upper 370 would be about 698 degrees Fahrenheit. Now diesel fuel is ignited in an internal combustion engine via the heat of compression of hot air. Motor gasoline, on the other hand, is ignited uh, by spark plugs, by, by spark ignition. Now, due to the mode of ignition in the diesel engine, diesel fuel requires a much higher cetane number versus octane number measurement for uh, motor gasoline. Diesel fuel is close to the lighter heating oils in boiling point and chemical composition. There are two grades of diesel fuel established by the uh, American Society of uh, um, the a ASTM. Let's leave it at that. Um, diesel 1 and Diesel 2. Diesel 1, like kerosene, is lighter, more volatile, and cleaner burning. Diesel 2 is used in engine applications where frequent changes in speed and low load occur. Industrial and heavy mobile service. Suitable diesel fuels may include both high and low sulfur values. And uh, we're looking at 500 parts per million of sulfur, 500 milligrams of sulfur per liter of diesel fuel or less and may actually approach zero in the case of synthetic diesel fuels. For example, a recent patent application from the Indian Oil Corporation here in the United States describes the use of so-called Gerbe alcohol esters, beta-branched esters. That would be a synthetic uh, formulation, non-petroleum, uh, at least not directly obtained from petroleum distillation. Now, high sulfur fuels greater than 500 ppm may have as much as 5% mass volume or more of sulfur content, um, very, very high sulfur levels. Fuels boiling in the range of 150 to 330 degrees Celsius actually work best in diesel engines because they are completely consumed during combustion with no fuel waste or excess emissions. Paraffins, which offer the best cetane ratings, are preferred for diesel blending. The higher paraffin content offers quicker warm-ups, completer combustion, and more easily burned. Naphthenes are the next lightest components, and finally aromatics are the heaviest fractions found in the diesel fuels. The heavier components actually are useful in preventing diesel fuel waxiness, in typical uh, winter conditions in the northeastern United States, these temperatures tend to find paraffin solidifying and thus plugging, plugging up fuel filters. You can't turn the engine over. In addition to diesel fuels 1 and 2, other fuels capable of combusting in the engines are coal dust emulsions and uh, vegetable oils. Typically, these vegetable oils are referred to as biodiesel and can be found as methyl, ether, uh, ethyl, or other alkoxyester derivatives. Uh, they're prepared by transesterification of uh, virgin oils, triglycerides, yellow grease, used uh, vegetable oils from uh, fried 
frying conditions, and even uh, the so-called black grease, which would be material of the lowest possible grade found in uh, grease traps in restaurants. These vegetable oil derivatives are often added, the virgin oils uh, derivatives are often added to petrodiesel fuels. And the reason transesterification is carried out, the typical methyl ester derivative of the vegetable oil is uh, less viscous. Here in the chemistry department of our school, the University of Pittsburgh Bradford in western Pennsylvania, we are working on development and characterization of diesel fuel oxygenate additives, which increase combustion levels, thus minimizing, in particular, particulate matter, PM. For more information, please contact me, Dave S. Soriano, Associate Professor at Chem at the University of Pittsburgh Bradford in Pennsylvania, 300 Campus Drive. Soriano, S-O-R-I-A-N-O, at pit.edu. Thank you so much for listening. Bye for now.